Sine Time Channel. Hello guys, welcome back to Sales Post Sine Time Channel. Yesterday I was working on running an SQL query using Sales Post Workbench online tool. So the reason I use uh, Sales Post Workbench tool often is because um, I don't uh, need to restrict it uh, towards a particular browser. I can actually use it in Internet Explorer, the Edge browser, uh, and any kind of browsers like uh, Firefox browser, and also with Chrome browser, obviously. Um, so that was the most of the people probably use Workbench for that reason. So I got this error while I was um, running the query unknown error, uh, read error on connection to the EC2 instance on Amazon server, AWS server. Uh, and I, I tried uh, with different browsers, but again, I'm getting the same error uh, when I'm trying to run an SQL query in Workbench Salesforce. So <laughs> what I thought was uh, creating this video. So uh, until then, uh, this error is resolved, uh, what are your alternatives, right, uh, to run a query? So one of the alternatives could be a very simple one. Uh, when you log into the Salesforce org, you can go to the settings and go to the developer console where you can run uh, your uh, Salesforce query. So other alternative could be um, if you are using Chrome, then you you can actually go into um, the Chrome web store and install Salesforce Inspector, which lets you run the queries uh, from the Chrome plugin itself. So it's a Chrome extension you could use. Um, so if you don't want to install anything or you don't have rights uh, to install on your laptop uh, which is what I, I also had an issue with um, then you could actually use another tool which is um, similar to workbench uh, but this is again a, a tool which you can use in any browser so let me show you how you can use this so okay uh, let me log into uh, packmagix using my salesforce uh, org credentials so i'm going to use my uh, developer org so hence i'm selected um, production here so in case you are using your sandbox then probably you need to select sandbox here and if it's a custom domain you could select custom domain so let me log in using OAuth 2.0 to my developer edition org so once I log in it is going to ask me to allow access so I just click on allow and once I log in I need to go to the data export tab so here I can select the object for which I want to run the SQL query for so on the left hand side you could see all the fields you could select uh, in order to run the query and once you select those uh, you can add click on the add to fields and here you would get uh, to see all the fields and the types of the field and the the name of the field and once you add it to this box um, it is actually going to show you and here the SQL fields so this is uh, working little different uh, it's not like um, how work workbench query would work uh, you can directly edit the SQL query right but this is like this is constructing the SQL query based on whatever you're selecting here and you could also edit the fields you want to um, uh, query so for example uh, if I type here ID name type I could put a comma and I can put uh, another field myself in some cases it's needed that you want to uh, fetch some related fields uh, which I don't have here um, but in case you want to fetch some uh, related fields for example uh, created by ID uh, let me show it to you so if I put it here created by ID and I, I want to show the the name of the person who has created it right so created by dot name so this is going to give me the name of the person so that's the reason I need to type it in because it's not uh, available directly to uh, enter from here so then I got my fields here let me see if I have any where clause I don't want to put any where clause but if you have any where clause you just uh, put the conditions uh, for example type uh, equals to customer and uh, and then if you have any other clauses uh, like group by or order by clause you can enter it here 
so final query uh, built which you can see it here so I can see select ID name type uh, created by ID created by dot name from account where type equals to customer and limit 200 so if you don't want to put any limits you just remove it so it will remove the limit section but it's always good to have some limits so that it's not running into a big uh, chunk of data query on the server so now I have my query ready and I just want to check if this is going to work or not let's see so I'm going to hit a run SQL query button so it will take some time it did not work I guess what happened um, probably because the type is not correct here in my filter so I need, need to remove this filter let's see and I can show it again to you once I run the query yep so the type was not correct so let me copy it from here copy go back and put the filter again equals to yeah so it's the customer direct as the type and I can see I just want to verify that my query is always constructed correctly here um, so it's not uh, allowing you to edit this query for a reason that uh, I mean normally if you are actually editing query by yourself then you are making so many mistakes right so in order to uh, avoid that that's why this tool is actually asking you to enter those things separately so let me run it run the query again and see how is generating yep so now I got the results customer direct as type with filtered results created by ID created by name also is coming up here so this is how I can see and uh, I can see 200 records definitely it has more than 200 records so uh, if you want uh, you want to fetch all the records you just remove the limits filter and on top of this I can download the results uh, when I click on download as CSV I can open it here uh, in your case you can open it with Excel since I have um, using Linux uh, I'm actually opening it with, with the open office once I once open the CSV I could see all the data in the spreadsheet yep took some time but it came up yeah so here is how you could run SQL query using Packmagix uh, for some time at least when workbench is not working and uh, let me know if you have any feedbacks about this thank you very much for watching it thank you bye